Alright guys, so today we are in Kashmir, Kashmir Dwani. Kashmir Dwani. Kashmir Dwani, yeah. And it's pretty much known to be the smallest town in Poland, or one of the smallest towns, but yet also the most beautiful. So today we're going to check out the old town and some of the different areas and show you guys around. So let's go. Let's get the spicy drama of Kashmir. <laughs> oh, maybe they're going to chase Gypsy. Yeah, so um, when you're in Kazimierz Dolan, it's a very common thing to see gypsies here and the one was actually chasing the guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the funny thing is when you do not pay money, because usually they want to uh, foretell your future. So if you do not pay money to her for doing that, she's going to put a spell on you. So... <sighs> let's go talk to her. Let's... <laughs> you want to talk to her? Yeah, let's get some spells. So wait, do you want to talk about the city and like what you know about it? Uh, Being Nepal, you need to show your skills. Okay, so the history of Kazimierz Dolny dates back to the 11th century. Uh -huh. So it's one, I would say one of the oldest uh, towns in Poland for sure. Uh, and because it is very close to... Is it well known? Is it? Oh yeah, it is. Especially right now, as a tourist attraction, uh -huh. it's like uh, everyone knows really? what Kazimierz Dolny is. Yeah. So it's that, and also uh, because it, basically it is very close to Vistula River. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be. And like that's a the biggest trade. river, right? Yeah. In Poland. The biggest. Yeah, the biggest river in Poland, and because of that, it used to be the trade empire here. Mm -hmm. So, so there was lots of ships and stuff. Yeah, and also it's known to be a Jewish town. Like a lot of Jews uh, lived there back in the day. You can probably see some influence as well. And so there's like this little old town here, right? And then yep. how it works is like there's these hillsides kind of up and about. And they yeah. overlook the town. Yeah, much, because right? Kazimierz Dolny basically is located in Lesser Poland. And mm -hmm. as you guys know, Lesser Poland is like What's all lesser, about hills. What's Lesser Poland? It's all about hills. It's like uh, when you go from the seaside, like the landscape changes mm -hmm. and it's getting like higher and higher, like uh -huh. above sea level. Yeah. So Lesser Poland, and, I mean, Lublin is actually on that part too. So it's just like the hillside. Introduction to of the hills. mountains, uh -huh. you know. Okay. Introduction to the mountains. No, no, oh I get it. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to some uh, gypsies. Look at the detail. Yeah. It's all about um, architecture here. Like every single building there. Like you can see the influence. No one's here as well. No one's here. Yeah, because usually most of uh, the tourists are coming here in summertime. Mm -hmm. We are um, almost the only ones here. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> nice. We have the place to ourselves. Looks like some uh, medieval type of architecture right there. George, what are you thinking about Kazimierz Dolny so far? I like it. <laughs> it's super small though, like there's not much else to do. Yeah, so I think it's enough if you have... If you have a few uh, hours and stuff, yeah. it's totally worth seeing for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Look, we can get some American burgers and hot dogs. No. <laughs> Let's get some Polish stuff. Wow. Looks like a lot of history right there. Oh, yeah, dude. A lot of history. Welcome to Poland. Welcome to Poland. I mean, just the fact that uh, it was uh, created in 11th century, I mean, it tells you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a bunch of history. Oh, there's the three crosses. Three crosses? Yeah, do you see? Yeah. Oh, uh, right up on that hill. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice place. Look at that. Isn't it lovely? Oh, yeah. So that's the biggest river right the there in Poland? The biggest river in Poland, yeah. And it's called the Vistula. Vis Viswa. Wisła. In Polish, it's Wisła, and uh, it splits Poland into two parts, mm -hmm. the western and eastern part. So definitely a cool place to check out, um, highly recommend coming here, totally. 
we're probably about to go back into the old town a little more check it out some more and then also go up to the hill where the three crosses three are. Three crosses, sorry. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a flag right here for this church. But on my way over here on the bus ride, actually, I saw a couple Polish flags on houses. And in the comment section, people were saying that it's only on like selective holidays. But I think some people don't do that, I guess, right? Like, I think, uh... Like, some people were saying that it's offensive if you have it. I'm not sure if, if, the, that, actually, if that actually applies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm drunk. Yeah, uh, trashed. But the thing is, when you go to or through smaller villages and stuff, people uh -huh. feel, like, the sense of community and they want to... I, I think they're, like, prouder yeah. to be Poles, I think, compared okay. to those who live in cities. Mm -hmm. That's, okay. um... That's my impression. But yeah, because I was just wondering that because, you know, sometimes I would see it being shown and sometimes I wouldn't. But, you know, everyone's saying that it's like offensive or whatever. So, I don't know. How, how can it be offensive if it's your flag? That's it's what I don't get. part of your history, you know? I don't know. They just said it's offensive. So. Yeah, but symbols of Poland, like flag or um, mm -hmm. what else? Like national anthem and stuff. It's protected by law. Like you cannot offend it. You cannot right. put, I don't know, Polish flag or have the theme of Polish flag on pants, for example, or, you know, carpets, whatever, because it's like forbidden. Right, right. You just cannot. Okay, these are the first trucks that I've even <laughs> seen. American cars. Yeah. Well, I know. First trucks I've seen I mean, in Poland so far this Probably day. that's what you need here for these roads. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, see? By yellow. Uh, Polish, Jewish, Greek. Yeah. <laughs> that's an important place for sure. Pink, no. Pink, no. I'm so excited. <laughs> Not my anti-hiker. Petawa. Oh, shit. Estere Miastro with lots of history and a beautiful Polish girl. What more could I need? <laughs> some good food. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> And some Polish food. So that was the church that we were just at right there. Um, and then we kind of walked through, made our way through, and there's like lots of Jewish restaurants that we went by. And yeah, it was it was really cool. And there's like all of this stuff to see. And yeah, it, it's I would almost say it's almost like a uh, a miniature Krakow in a sense, where there's some castle history. And it, it has this huge um, square in the center, but it's definitely a lot smaller than Krakow, like one tenth the size of Krakow. So, um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, it's this is definitely, definitely, definitely a place worth checking out. And if you're around the area, I highly recommend going to see it and traveling with someone like this all right now we're about to head over to this castle and we have no clue how to get there so alrighty and now we're at the back of the castle looks like we're about to walk somewhere over there and then hopefully get in there possibly walk around I don't know if we're allowed to but uh, yeah fingers crossed we can yeah okay so we're uh, in Kazimierz Dolny castle right now we're going to get there hopefully inside it was built between 13th and 14th century. Right now, that's like a fortification uh, complex, but back in the day it served as a um, prison. Mm -hmm. Could have been also used as a place to uh, like hide money from uh, invaders. Right um, on the hill, pretty much. Right on a hill. Yeah. Uh, and also some border security could have, uh, have headquarters. Right there. Yeah. My maid in honor. <laughs> yep. Two, one. All right. 
time to go get something to eat. So Adriana was just saying that it's super cool that you don't have to go somewhere big and you know luxurious and expensive to go somewhere awesome like Kashmiraj and um, yeah. Yeah, so in fact you don't have to go to Krakow, Wrocław, Gdańsk, okay we love Gdańsk but let's just yeah. be honest. This place is smaller, it's like, yeah, and you, could you spend, can't compare, you yeah. can spend less money, definitely. Have a great time, like a lot of experiences and cool views and yeah, you know, getting yeah. the vibe of the city as well. Yeah. Time for some pivo from Kashmir. You're gonna drink, you're gonna get drunk of that. Oh yeah, <laughs> I just love you. All right, we got pierogies with meat. Smachnego. Oh, so these are not boiled, dude. Oh, no? No, they're fried. They're fried? Okay. Looks so good, time to enjoy. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Now we're just gonna head back to Lublin and enjoy our time there. We're pretty much stuffed right now, so yeah. Stay tuned for the next videos and until next time. Jinkuya e Dabitanya. Dabitanya.